Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm going to share with you my top five all-natural anti-aging skincare secrets. Now, this kind of a video with that kind of a title, I feel like you are here because you're hoping to see some super all-natural magical thing that you've never heard of before that's going to erase all your lines and wrinkles, all your age spots, firm up your skin, and make you look 10 years younger. I don't want to bait and switch you, but since this is about all natural anti-aging secrets, guess what? They are all lifestyle changes. So if you're not into making lifestyle changes, you might be disappointed in what I have to say in this video. But I want you to stick around and watch it anyway because I think that, or at least I hope that, you'll learn something from the video and you'll learn that lifestyle changes really can make a difference in how you look as you get older. It's not that I'm afraid of aging or you know there's anything wrong with aging. Obviously we can't avoid it. It happens no matter what you do. Every second of your life the time is ticking away. The point for me is to be the best I can be at every age. To look as youthful as I can, to be as healthy as I can, so that as I do get older I can enjoy my life. So I take my anti-aging very very seriously. I'm also an equal opportunity anti-ager, which means that while I do live anti-aging in my lifestyle with the tips that I'm going to show you in today's video, I also do other things. Some of the other things that I have done in the past are Botox, fillers, IPL treatments, laser treatments. I have never had any surgery whatsoever, so I don't want you to be sitting there watching me wondering, well, is she full of Botox right now? The answer is no. Is she full of filler right now? The answer is no. I'm gonna be 54 next week. In general, I think that my skin looks pretty good for its age. I think that it could also look a lot better for its age if I had started doing these five things that I'm gonna tell you today when I was a lot younger. And that, of course, leads me into my number one all-natural anti-aging secret, and that is to avoid UV radiation. That is good old Mr. Sunshine. I spent plenty of time in my youth uh, baking in the sun. I don't do that anymore. I stopped baking about 20 years ago. Now, I'm not saying live in a cave. Obviously, I lead an active life. I bike, I garden, I paddleboard. The point is to protect your skin while you're outside. So I wear sunscreen every single day on every single part of my exposed skin. It doesn't matter to me if it's winter or summer, high noon or uh, six o'clock in the evening. If the sun is out, I have my sunscreen on. And that's because the UVA rays are the invisible agers that we didn't really know about until recently. And they are the same strength at all times of the day and at all times of the year. They come through clouds, they come through windows. So definitely apply sunscreen every day of an SPF 30 or higher. Now I've got a couple of natural ones that I wanted to show you today. This one is one that I found in my recent roundup of all mineral sunscreens. This is the MyShell Replenishing Solar Defense SPF 30. This is a great one. It works really well under makeup. And this is Burnout Eco. This is an SPF 35, also all mineral. And then um, there are these Think Sports sunscreens. This is a great brand, all natural all mineral sunscreens, reef safe. So if any of these sunscreens can help you to wear a sunscreen every day, I highly recommend them. If you wanna see my sunscreen roundup video from this year, I'm putting the links to all the associated videos uh, in the information box below this video. So just click that show more button, that box will open up and you'll get to uh, go over to those videos afterwards. All right, so the other thing that I do besides sunscreen, I always have a hat with me. So I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite hats. This is an Eric Javits fedora. This has an SPF value of 50. This saved my skin on my recent trip to Spain where I was out there outdoors pretty much all day, every day. Pair that with a cute pair of sunglasses and you're protecting your face and your eyes from the sun. So it's a great look, it's very hip and youthful. Now sunglasses I definitely recommend for everyone because of course as you know our eyes are the first area of our face that start to show aging. So sunglasses can go a long way to protecting the skin around your eyes. So putting on a nice big pair of sunglasses whether it's you know a spendy pair of Tory Burch aviators like these or an inexpensive nine dollar pair of 
uh, sunglasses from Target. These have 100% UV protection. So wearing sunglasses every time you're out in the sun prevents squinting, it reduces crow's feet, and it also protects against cataracts. So you can anti-age your eyes on the inside as well. Tip number two is to sleep on your back with your head elevated. Now, this is probably going, going to be one of the more difficult things to accomplish if you're a side sleeper, but I can tell you it will change your skin for the better. I used to be a side sleeper. I would wake up in the morning, look in my bathroom mirror, and I would have this V of wrinkles etched into my chest. And that was over four years ago. My wrinkles should be worse because I've aged, but look, I don't have any chest wrinkles. And the reason is that I switched from sleeping on my side to sleeping on my back. The clincher to have me do it was that I was visiting my dermatologist one day and she actually said, oh, you sleep on this side of your face, don't you? And I was like, what? How can you tell? And she was like, well, your wrinkles on this side are way deeper than they are on this side. And I was like, oh my God, you could tell just by looking at me. It took me around three to six months to finally train myself fully to sleep on my back. But now that I've done it, I am so glad I did. And when I look at it over the long term, like I'm planning on living probably another 40 years or so, with any luck, um, three months is a drop in the bucket compared to 40 years of comfortable back sleeping. But I ended up buying a sleeping wedge. And this is like one of the best things that I ever bought. I picked this up on Amazon. It's just like a big wedge of foam. It has this nice bamboo cover that comes off and I can wash it. But um, I put my pillows on top of that and I sleep actually kind of with my upper body elevated. And that really helped to train me to sleep on my back. I sleep better because my hips don't hurt, I'm not tossing and turning, and when I wake up I don't have pain in my shoulders like I used to. The other thing is that sleeping with your head elevated will help with dark circles and puffiness and eye bags because those three things are mainly caused by fluid pooling under your eyes while you sleep, who knew? And so sleeping with your head elevated actually helps those to drain out of your face. And so it keeps your eye area looking younger, longer, and who doesn't want that? Tip number three is to feed your skin from the inside. As it turns out, what we eat directly affects how our skin looks and how our skin ages. Some foods actually help our skin to age slower and look better, and some foods speed up the aging process. Oh my gosh. And of course, don't you know, it's the things that we love the most that speed up the aging process. So the foods to avoid are refined sugars. Unfortunately, refined sugars promote glycation, which damages cells and causes wrinkles. Alcohol is pro-inflammatory and it speeds up the aging process. Of course, you've probably also heard those recent studies where resveratrol and ingredients in red wine um, actually help to slow the aging process. So if you're gonna have that glass of red wine every day to help with your heart and your aging, then go ahead and do that. Just everything in moderation. I love sugar, I can't cut it out of my diet completely, but I have cut way back on the amount of refined sugar that I'm eating. So on to the foods that actually help us look younger. Antioxidant and vitamin rich foods that can protect your cells from free radical damage. Those are things like raw almonds, dark chocolate, so there you can get some um, sweets in there but without a lot of refined sugar, uh, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, dark berries, green tea, actually any tea. All the teas have polyphenols and antioxidants and dark leafy green vegetables like kale and spinach. Now the other foods that I eat a ton of are salmon and fishes that contain healthy fats and omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids. Those fats work inside the cells to help protect the moisture barrier. And so of course I have a video on what I eat in a day. I've actually done two of them and I'm due for an update and the link for that will be in the information box below the video as well. So you can see how I've worked all of these things into my diet. Tip number four is to nourish skin from the outside. So just like I talked about nourishing skin from the inside with vitamins and antioxidants, you can do that from the outside as well. So while your skin's main function is to keep things out, it is a little bit absorbent. Things do make it in there. And some of the things that are the best at absorbing into your skin and making a change are vitamins and antioxidants. My number one vitamin to use on my skin is vitamin A. Now I use a prescription vitamin A. You've heard of this, this is called Retin-A or this is the generic tretinoin that I get. I can't say that this is 100% all natural. I'm not sure if it is. So if you don't wanna use a prescription retinoid, 
you don't have to, but you should definitely use some kind of vitamin A. And vitamin A, fortunately, comes in all different forms. Obviously, the other forms are not going to be as strong as this. They're not going to work as well or as fast, but they will work over time. One great source of vitamin A is rosehip seed oil. It's 100% natural. You can get yourself some rosehip seed oil, put that on your face, your neck, your chest. There's also over-the-counter retinol creams. I don't have a 100% natural one to recommend to you, but one that I really do like a lot is this CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. And what vitamin A does is it works at the cellular level to help your skin to generate more collagen and it helps to reduce wrinkles. Another vitamin that I love for topical skin care is vitamin C. Vitamin C is a very potent antioxidant. It helps to scavenge free radicals that go around breaking down the scaffolding that holds our skin up. It helps to brighten our skin on the surface and to reduce the appearance of age spots. The one that I use and love, and I believe this is all natural, um, this is made in the U.S. This is by Timeless Skin Care. It's their 20% C plus E plus perulic acid um, serum. And this is a great way to get vitamin C into your skin. It will absorb right in, so it really works well. The other vitamins that I look for are vitamin B3, which is niacinamide. That's another antioxidant that is showing really great things that it does for skin. It can reduce your pores, it can reduce wrinkles, it can brighten the skin, it helps with skin cell turnover. So that's wonderful. A product that is all natural that I like very much that contains niacinamide is the Mad Hippie Face Cream. This has so much good stuff packed into it. I love this stuff. I brought the box over just so I could read you a couple of the ingredients. So it's got the niacinamide, it's got Matrixyl 3000, it's got argan oil, um, it's got green tea extract, it's got grapeseed extract, it's got resveratrol, acai berry, vitamin E, coenzyme Q10, coconut oil. I mean, it is just packed with so much great stuff. This is a great product, especially if you're into all-natural skincare products. And all-natural anti-ager number five is the one you guys have prob probably been dreading hearing, but it is exercise. Exercise really is an anti-ager. It helps your skin to produce more antioxidants to fight those free radicals. Um, it also helps with blood flow. So as you exercise, you know how your skin gets flushed. That is the blood rushing to the surface of your skin, and that helps to bring more of those nutrients in your diet to your skin to deliver those things to the skin cells where it's needed. It also helps to flush out toxins and free radicals. So increasing blood flow is really great for you, especially as you get older. Now there wasn't really any clinical evidence of this before. It was all kind of anecdotal, but there was a study done that I just stumbled upon that they actually took a small group of people who were over 65. They were sedentary people and they took a little biopsy of their skin. They examined that under a microscope and they found that their skin pretty much looked like the standard old person's skin where the stratum corneum, the top layer, was thickened and that's kind of what makes the skin look dull and more wrinkled. Um, and that the dermis, the inner layers, were thinner, which also makes your skin look older. So they took this group of people and they had them start exercising two times a week for 30 minutes. After three months of that, they went back, took another biopsy of their skin, and guess what? Their skin resembled the skin of a 20 to 30 year old. So their stratum corneum had thinned and their dermis had thickened. And so the guy that did the uh, research was like, like, I don't want to say that exercise is the fountain of youth, but, you know, I kind of think it is. So when I saw that, I was like, yes. So I knew exercise made me feel better, and I had the sense that it helped me to look better, but there was no confirmation before, and now that I've seen this study, I'm like, yes. These are things that you can start doing at any age, and they will have an effect on your skin. Of course, if you started them in your 20s, that would be better, but what you'll find out is that research has shown that you're never too old to start doing these things. If you start even when you're in your 60s, it can still improve the look of your skin. And your skin is such an amazing organ that you can turn back the hands of time on it even though you're getting older. So those were my top five all-natural anti-aging secrets. So thanks for tuning in today, everybody. I really appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.